Welcome to the Aviation Maintenance Training video series. Today's video is on calipers. Calipers are instruments used to measure the size of various objects. Uh, speaking of calipers, we have several different types. Uh, first is the outside caliper. Outside calipers are used to measure the outside of objects. Sometimes we need to measure the inside of objects, so inside calipers can be used to measure inside diameter. And then we have dividers, which we can use to measure the distance across two points. Now the problem with these calipers are they are non-precision. After you set your measurement, you have to transfer it to a ruler and use your eye. These type of calipers are considered non-precision instruments. Uh, however, in aviation, we need to take precise measurements. So we use what's called a veneer caliper. Veneer calipers can be used to take precise measurements to thousandths of an inch or two hundredths of a millimeter. Uh, veneer calipers are also used for multitasking. For instance, I can check the outside measurement. I can check, again, inside diameter, as well as a depth probe, which I can use to check how deep a hole is going. So in this case, we get precision and multitasking in one tool. Now, veneer calipers have several different parts that you need to know about. First are the outside jaws, which we use to measure the outside of an object. Then we have the inside jaws, which we will again use to measure inside diameter. Then here on the far end, we have the depth probe, which we can use to check the depth of a hole. Now the interesting thing about the veneer caliper is it has two scales. Along the length, we have the inch scale, and the millimeter scale. And what gives this tool its name is this scale here, which is called the vernier scale. This is where our precision comes from. And we can measure into thousandths of an inch or two hundredths of a millimeter. Now when you take your measurement, we also have here a locking screw, which is used to lock the jaws in place so the scale doesn't move when you're taking your measurement. Now let's talk about how to use the vernier caliper. So first, pick up the object that you want to measure and just insert it into the jaws, like so. Close the jaws lightly, then tighten the jaws down so they don't move, and remove your object. Now let's read our measurement. So what we do first is we're going to check the millimeter scale here. And let's look at the number that is to the left of the zero, which in this case is 10, indicating 10 millimeters. Then we'll count the divisions on the main scale between the 10 and the zero. And there are two divisions. So 2 plus 10 gives us 12 millimeters. Now we want the precision measurement. So what we do in this case is we have to look at the divisions on our vernier scale and see which one lines up with the division on the main scale. In this case, it looks like 5 and the third division after the 5. So those division would be uh, 5, 6. So in this case, we have 12.56 millimeters. And it's as simple as that. 